So now what is bit manipulation? You need to first understand one thing from your O level. If you do remember in O level, there was a, a topic that was use of binary in computers. There was a topic which was use of binary in computers. Let me remind you of that topic of binary in computer systems this is o level question just to remind you that how actually we are dependent over bits when it comes to the computer which is controlling something controlling means it is taking input from sensors taking decision over it and then with the help of these registers it is working out for us so if a computer is doing anything by itself it is actually with the help of these registers inside the hardware and every bit of that register is actually responsible for some action so let's say for this particular question a seven segment display why do we call it seven segment because this digit is being shown with seven different lines vertical and horizontal lines let's say if i want to make seven i will make line number one two and three lit and six seven five four off and if i want to make two then i would uh, light one two seven five four and i will make the six and three off so that is how we will be creating so this whole seven segment display is associated to this register this is 8-bit register and they say that bit 0 on least significant side will remain 0 and rest of the bits will be representing one of the segment or line of this digital display. So that whenever you put one in that respective bit, that will play a role of power switch. So as soon as you put one in that, what will happen? That that particular segment or line will be lit and whenever you put 0, that will be switched off. Then. So if it is 3, then it means that you would have to put uh, um, uh, 0 and 6 and uh, 5 and 1, 2, 7, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 7, 3 and 4 will be 1. So this is actually the use of bits. You can see that sometimes you don't have to change the whole byte. Sometimes you have to change the bit of that particular byte and you want to keep remaining of the bits same but you want to change few of the bits. This is called bit manipulation. And then uh, in bit manipulation let me show you one very important thing. I'm not discussing it uh, in greater detail because you would have already done it in O levels. So over here, you can see that one single digit is responsible uh, for this four bit register. There are four registers here and every register has got four bits associated. So if it is zero, then they are tackling it like a binary number, binary integer number one, two, four, eight. So if it is eight, then it is one, triple zero. If it is zero, then all zeros. And if it is three, double zero, double one. And if, it's, if it is five, then it is zero, one, zero, one. So, and then sometimes, we have uh, bit shifting. Bit shifting is something very important and that bit shifting is part of O levels but not uh, directly under the topic but just as a practice in exam without telling that what exactly is happening. So now you can see this one byte which is showing the value 27. 16 plus 8, 24 plus 2, 26 plus 1, 27 and we have shifted the bits towards the left. So when we have shifted the bits towards the left then bit on the most significant side has gone out of the register or the byte and an empty space is created on the right side which is filled with zero. Now you can see that the number has become what? 54. So when you shift left, the number becomes doubled. So 27 has become 54. Now the question says all the bits in the binary number have now been shifted, moved one places to the left. What binary number does this now represent 54? B is what effect did the shift have on the original binary number, it multiplies the number by 2. If the binary number was shifted another one place to the left, what binary value would be? Would it be equivalent to that 54 will become 108? Represent the binary number 46 as an 8-bit binary number. So we have represented 32 plus 8, 42 plus 4, 40, uh, 42, so 32 plus 8 is 40, 40 plus 4, 44 plus 2, 46. And then they say that uh, shift 8 bits binary number two places to the left. So when, when we move it one place to the left, you can see that this 46 will become 92 and then when we move it one place further to the left, the thing will become 184. So this is 2 times left shift. Every time, if it is 2, it becomes 4. If it is 4, it becomes 8. So let's say if it is 10 and we want to move it thrice towards the left. So 10 would become in first shift, 10 would become 20. In second shift, it would become 40. And in third shift, it would become 80. That is how it works. Means 2 to power n times it increases itself. 2 to power n. What is n then? n is the number of shifts. And then it is multiplied by that. Anyways, so this bit shifting is actually something really important. And there are multiple questions in O levels, but over here 
we are not going to solve all these questions. I just wanted to show you these questions to remind you of what you have done in O level. And then now let's get to the topic, which is in actually AS. So it is an important topic, which have roots in O level, but actually in AS it is a detailed one. Okay. Now bit manipulation. Let's first pay attention to the details. What is bit manipulation? What are the operations that we can understand? How bit manipulation actually is used and all. So bit manipulation. So let's first, uh, as usual, let's first start with the key terms. Bit manipulation. Hold on for a bit. So now the topic is bit manipulation. What you should already know, you should already know what end you should already know. End gate, we know it properly. OR gate and exclusive OR gate. We have an idea of it. So what N gate does, what OR gate does, what exclusive OR gate does, we have studied it in O level as well as in AS level. Now there are key terms which you have to actually understand before we go any further. And we will keep using these key terms throughout the bit manipulation lecture. First one is shift. Shift means moving the bits in a register, a given number of places within the registers. And there are different types of shifts. The first one is left logical shift. The shift that you have just observed in O levels was the logical shift. Logical shift, bits shifted out of the registers are replaced with zeros. So if you are shifting towards the left, places on the right are becoming empty, so you'll put zeros in it. And if you are shifting towards the right, places over the left on the most significant bit side will be empty, so you would have to put them, uh, sorry, fill them with zeros. So that is logical shift. Then we have got arithmetic shift. Arithmetic shift. Arithmetic shift, in, the sh in this shift we will preserve the sign of the number. Let's say if you have a number which is saved in the form of two's, compli uh, two's complement format, which you, which you would have already studied in uh, numbers. So if you have minus two, then the sign of that particular number will be preserved. The shift that you have just observed was unsigned integer. So if it is a signed integer, the system tries to hold on the sign of the uh, number. So we will see that how that happens. And then we have got cyclic shift. So cyclic shift is basically uh, a shift which does not make us to lose the bits which fall outside the register. For example, if you are shifting it towards the left, so bits on the left side will be dropped out of the register. So in cyclic shift, what happens is that if you are shifting towards the left, so, so towards the left, all the bits which are being dropped will be inserted from the right. So it's a cycle, it's a circle. So what goes out from the left comes back in from the right. It's like a chain, a chain in motorcycle or cycle. And if you are shifting towards the right, the bits which are being dropped off from the least significant side will get back in from the most significant side. That is called cyclic shift. Anyways, we are going to practice this in Visual Basic and the most concerned shift that we actually uh, require to understand is the logical shift. Alright, and most programming languages actually help to understand logical shifts and uh, we will be actually understanding the shifts in terms of logical shifts only later. So, cyclic shift then I described what? Left shift. Then I described right shift. Then the system that requires all this bit manipulation is called monitoring and control system. Monitoring and control system. We have to look into it as well. So let's suppose that you have got a phone. It's a screen you are watching. 
um, something over the screen as soon as you bring it close to your ear to talk to someone what basically happens the sensors they realize the proximity sensor the distance sensor that realizes that now your phone is basically close to your ear or your face or you have covered it with your palm even then as soon as that distance is finished system asks the screen light to be switched off system asks the screen light to be switched off so what you can now realize that what is happening the system is having an input from uh, the proximity sensor so pro- proximity sensor is basically related to a single register's bit so to a single bit of certain register so that bit what bit what that bit does it acts like a switch so when it is one in there the screen is lit when it is zero in there the screen is off switched off so that is how it actually works the part of the system which is reading the input from the sensor is called monitor and the part of the system which after monitoring takes the decision and does or perform action is called control we will look into it exclusively later so monitor to automatically take readings from a device like sensor control to automatically take readings from a device then use the data from those red readings to adjust the device so taking input from one device and adjusting another device the device which is giving input is mostly sensor the device which is giving output could be any but there is a generalized term for that device that is called actuator so all the devices or the parts of the devices which bring change to the environment are called actuator let's say you have got this split ac in your room or the window ac in your room there is a device inside it called compressor that compressor is responsible for the cooling effect that you feel when you switch on your air conditioner so system with the help of input from the thermostat will actually switch on and off this actuator which is thermostat that is how it works so that is actuator and then when we will be studying input output devices we will also be studying few of the sensors as you would have already done it in all of them and then we have got a mask now the term mask is used for the values which we use to manipulate the bits inside the register what does it mean it means that a register has got some value already in it we want to change the values so for changing the values we will perform few actions with another value that another value is called mask you would understand it when i'll start doing it all right so these are the key terms that we will be using again and again and again i introduced you with these key terms so that when they come up again all right so you could realize that yes these are the things that i talked about earlier now so let's just uh, talk about it now let's go further and see what's happening a shift involves moving the bits stored in a register a given number of places within the register each bit within the register may be used for a different purpose for example in the uh, interrupt register each bit identifies a different interrupt all right uh, there are several different types of shifts first one is logical shift bits shifted out of the registers are replaced with zero for example an 8 bit register containing the binary value let's say 10101111 shifted left logically three places so three zeros will be introduced from the right side then arithmetic shift so let me write it down logical shift so let's say you have got a register 8 bit registers and it has got value 10101111 and you have shifted it left three places so three places means these three bits on the left 101 are now dropped so it has become 01111 and on the right side three zeros will be introduced all right so if we like to put it in algorithmic form if you see if you would like to do it in a computer language you should have it in an instruction form so in that case which value is this 1010 and 1111 let me know which but how much value are you 10101111 which value is this bata do bhai so rahe ho dekh rahe ho kya kar rahe ho aap log anyone so check ji ye to binary binary to hai 10101111 binary mein kya hai bete binary mein bataiye ye sare log so rahe hain aliza asad hani nabira turab zuhair everyone what's going on beta 1010 One 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 one. Which value is this? Zara, 
आप सब प्रेजेंट तो लगाएं यस दैट इज 175 जरा आप लोग सब प्रेजेंट तो लगाएं लेट मी सी कौन-कौन इस वक्त स्क्रीन के सामने बैठा हुआ है हम्म सब इस वक्त इसका मतलब है स्क्रीन के सामने नहीं है ऑल राइट आई गेट इट ओके सो दिस इज 175 अगर हम इसको लॉजिकली एल्गोरिथमिकली इन सुडो कोड अगर हम इसको दिखाना चाहते हैं तो दिस वुड बी लाइक दिस a is equal to 175 All right. So this will save is one zero one zero one 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 in A, and then I want to shift A three times. So and the value, this value, I will assign. This is let's say this is A. This is B. I'll assign it to B. So I'll be like B is equal to A shifted three places. So that is a legit operator. Left, less than, less than. All right. So this would become. It, this will actually shift three places towards the left, and it will make it. It will assign the new value to B. So what is B now? One twenty. Wonderful. Good, honey. Good, Alize. So this is basically good. All right. So that is how it is shifted towards left. So if I want to move it towards right, similarly, I'll use greater than and greater than sign. And then we have got arithmetic shift. The sign of the number is preserved. For example, uh, let's say uh, an eight-bit register containing the binary value, same binary value, one zero, one zero, one 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 one. Now you can see that this is a negative number. This is a negative number since the sign bit is negative. Let's deal this number. Yes. Now let's make this number. Uh, let's shift it. This is a negative number. Yes, shifting three three places towards the right will give twenty one. Yes, if we shift logical shift, means to right shift, then it will different. It will be obviously one two four eight sixteen. Maybe it will be fifteen. It will be fifteen. Yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, twenty one. Now arithmetic shift. So this what arithmetic shift does? Arithmetic shifts the sign of the number is preserved. So let's say we have got this number one zero one zero one 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 shifted right arithmetically three places. Would become what? This would become right three places. So one one one. One zero one zero one. So have you seen that this bit is a negative bit? This is a sign bit which is negative. So when three places are added on the left, they remain one. Okay. So whatever the sign bit, it is copied. If it is zero, then zero will be copied. If it is one, that will be copied. Unlike logical shift, where when we are actually dropping, we are inserting zeros on the right and the left. Over here, in arithmetic shift, when we are shifting right or left, whatever the sign bit, if it is one, it is negative. If it is zero, it is positive. We will actually be filling in that on the left. If it is right shift, and if it is uh, left shift, in that case, हम लोग जो है वो zeros बनेंगे on the right side. So now, oh, so drop bits को हम sign bit की value से replace करते हैं. Yes, this is exactly the same. So drop bits. Are replaced with sign bit values. Wow, that is the most appropriate thing. So when shifting right with an arithmetic right shift, the least significant bit is lost, and the most significant bit is copied. And most significant bit is what? As Ani said, the sign bit. Languages handle arithmetic and logic right shifts in different ways. We don't have. Uh, we will be studying Visual Basic and AS and uh, Python in A2. So in AS, uh, uh, in Visual Basic and Python, we are not going to discuss uh, arithmetic shifts because that is not there. There are no commands, and if there are, there are any, I don't know of. I haven't seen it. I never have seen it. So that is not required for syllabus as well. In syllabus, we will be actually programming for only logical shifts. So let's say. Let me remind you one again, once again. In logical shift, let's say if it is one zero one one register is four bits, and we have shifted it one place, then it would become what? It would become one zero one one zero one. So let's say if it is one zero one one and we shift it three places, it will become uh one. Uh, if it is a uh, what three shifts, so one two three zero 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 one, and this would be zero. Sorry, so this is logical shift. One zero one zero. Yes. All right. So now. Let's say if it is arithmetic shift, and we want to preserve the sign. So in that case, let's say in 
make arithmetic shifts. Uh, let's say if it is one zero one one. One zero one one is minus five, and we shift it towards the right one time. This would become one one zero one. So this has become minus three. All right. So this is arithmetic shift. So one zero one one is actually what minus five, and this is actually what one one zero one minus three. Similarly. If it would be in uh, logical shifting, the same signed arithmetic. If it is logical shifting and it is all ones, all ones means minus one, and we shift it right, then it will be seven. Then, so we are not going to discuss that in that detail. So you get the idea of arithmetic shifts, and then we have got cyclic shifts. Cyclic shifts. Let's say we have got this number zero zero one one. One one zero one, and we are shifting it two places to the left. So what will happen? That these two zeros will enter from the right side. So this would become one 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 zero one, and then two zeros. And let's say if we are moving it zero zero one 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 zero one three places towards the right. So this one will be here, then the zero afterwards, and this one afterwards. And rest remain the same. Zero zero one one one. Get the idea? So this one zero one from the right side entered from the left. All right. So this is three places shift. First we moved it towards the left. So these numbers, these two bits were actually made their way on the right side from from the most significant bit side to the. This is most. Significant bit side to the left significant bit side. Similarly, if we move it towards the left, sorry, the right, bits on the right will make their way from the left side. So we cannot just say right, left, right, left. Rather, we would say that from bit from the least significant bit side. Will make their way from the most significant bit side. So this is called cyclic shift. Which sort of shift it is? Cyclic shift. And then uh, you understood right shift, left shift. Now there are assembly language commands, means opcodes for left shifting and right shifting. And that is only for. Don't forget that we are studying processor fundamentals and assembly language. So the instructions will be there, and this would be only for. Logical shift. So the first opcode is LSL. LSL and operand would be N. Bits in accumulator, as we know that every other command is only pointing out to the accumulator. So what will happen when we pass this instruction LSL? Let's say one. So bits in accumulator are shifted logically n places to the left. Zeros are introduced on the right hand side. Similarly, we have got another instruction, which is L. Alisa, I am going to answer you shortly. Please hold on. L S R. This is bits in the accumulator are shifted logically n places to the right side. L S L means shift left. L S R means shift right. Zeros are introduced on the left hand end, and. For your syllabus, shifts are always performed on the accumulator. Now let's take this question. Alisa says so. Basically, in the logical one means logical shifts, we just have to move the bits and calculate the binary value. In arithmetic, we have to find the sign integer, and we will be filling it that sign bit in the newly introduced bits of the register. Yes. And in cyclic, we have to switch places of the first four with the last four. Not, not necessarily four. It is any number. If you are shifting one, only the rightmost one bit will be introduced from the left side. If we are shifting twice, the two bits on the right side in the cyclic uh, shift will be introduced from the left. That is how it works. All right. So we, we, all we need to do is to pay attention to the just logical shifts because that is the part of your syllabus. Now let's see what syllabus says. If you could see, the, these are just two commands: LSL and LSR. And since this gives the 
um, value itself, not the address, we use hash sign as well. Okay. So now LSL and LSR, we have discussed it. We have also seen these labels thing in symbolic addressing. I have already covered it. We gave label, label here, instead of the address. We use this colon. This colon signifies that this is a label and then we have got awkward and awkward. We have solved many questions related to this earlier as well. And then we can also give the label to the data so that we could refer to this data with the name instead of address. Give symbolic address label to the memory location with the content of the data. So we have covered LSL, LSR and these label, labels already. In the next class, I'm going to discuss and exclusive or and or and then we will write few programs in Visual Basic to understand that how actually this works when we use it in the languages. All right. In monitoring and control, each bit in the register or memory location can be used as a flag and would need to be tested, set or cleared separately. So if, if we like to, instead of moving, shifting left and right, if we like to tackle with only few of the bits, let's say out of eight bits register, I want to change third bit and seven bit. I don't want to shift on anything. I just want to change third bit and seven bit. In that case, I'll be using and exclusive or and uh, or. I might like to switch it. I want to, let's say I want to make zero one. I want to make one a zero. I might like to clear it. Clear it means whatever is there, just make it zero. I want to, let's say sometimes I want to set it. Whatever it is there, just make it one. So it is set. So set means putting one. Clear means making it zero. Switching means making it vice versa. Toggling it. So, uh, what do we say? Inversing it. All right. So now for the logical shifting. Logical shifting. This is the actually logical right shift. All right. So let's see the result. So. See what exactly has happened that A is 8 and B has become what? 4. How come? Basically, what happened that A in binary is is this. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. When this shift goes right, B will become 1. So this bit will be dropped and 1, 0 will enter from the left side. So when this bit will be dropped, it means that this will come one side towards the right one step towards the right one place towards the right so this was eight what it has become four this is apparent if we run this program we can see that eight has become four so if you could look at it in binary form you can see that okay so what is exactly the effect when we basically shift right logically the number becomes half now Let's make this be A shifts one time left. So this one is logical left shift. What is it? Logical left shift. So B will become what? So this time A has gone left one place. So it was 8, this has now become 16, alright, so let's see what is the result. So A was 8, when it was shifted left, one place it has become what, 16, let's see what is the first one. Then outcome will be 1, what outcome will be 1 today? I don't get it. Please elaborate. I said, uh, outcome will be one what? If, eight, if A is 8 and we shift it towards left, it will become 16. If we shift it towards right, it will become 8. Uh, I mean, 4. Alright? This was uh, an idea for left and right shifting. This is shifting. Now,
let's do ending ending end what is ending bitwise end operation of the contents of accumulator with the operand let's go discuss how ending actually works Bitwise, and how do we record it? And let's say we have got A, the value of A is given, let's say. Eighteen. Eighteen is one, two, four, eight, fifteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. This is in one eight. Let's say we have got B. B is let's say twenty. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Now we know what is end operation. What end does if there is any zero, the result is zero. Otherwise, if there are all ones, then it becomes what? One. End. First, we will carry this operation on one bit on the least significant side on this side. Zero and zero, zero. One and zero, zero. Zero and one, zero. Zero and zero, zero. One and one, one. Zero and zero, zero. Zero and zero, zero. Zero and zero, zero. So let's take a C. C would become what? Sixteen. If we add eighteen and twenty, it will become sixteen. All right. So let's see how actually it happens in Visual Basic language. Let's say A is eighteen, B is twenty. Let's create another variable C. Will C as integer as well? And C is equal to A and B. See, C is equal to A and B. So let's see what is the answer of C then. This program. As I told you that if A is eighteen, B is twenty, then the result or C will be sixteen. Because we end bitwise. Bitwise means going from the right side towards the left, bit by bit, by bit, by bit. So the answer is sixteen. That you can observe over here easily. That if C is A is eighteen, B is twenty, and C Is equal to a and b, then it will become sixteen. That is the result. Okay. Now, let's say if it is oring. Same eighteen and twenty. You do it, and let me know what is the result of oring a and b when a is eighteen and b is twenty. What is the result? C. Both in binary and in decimal. So with oring, the result becomes twenty-two. Eighteen. A is eighteen. B is twenty. C is twenty. Right. So now do 
exclusive of Zorin. So let's say we are doing same A is 18, B is 20. What is the result of exclusive for? So exclusive for whenever the values are same, the result is 0. Whenever the values are different, the result is 1. So C will become what? 6. 1, 2, and 4. Let's see in Visual Basic. Yes, it is now. So exclusive for. see the result see it is six so now we know that how logical shifting works how computer actually deals with it and then we have seen that how the language is actually dealing with it exactly the language is dealing with it the way we expected it to actually work all right so in monitoring and control each bit in a register or memory location can be used as a flag and what needs to be tested, set, and clearly, uh, and cleared separately, okay? Now, it means that with assembly language help, we can manipulate any bit in the computer's memory or device register if it is allowed. So for example, a control system with eight different sen uh, sensors would need to record when the data from each sensor can be processed. This could be shown using eight different bits in the same memory location. So let's say this is our register. We have got eight bits in it in any device every single bit is representing a sensor so it's a register okay now we have got different sensors related to different bits of this register so whenever a sensor is sending data or we want to control anything we can make these bits zeros and ones individually so if we use end And is used to check if the bit has been set. And is used to check if the bit has been set. Alright? And is used to check if the bit has been set. Whereas all is used to set the bit. Is used to set the bit. So let's say we check a bit if it is one, then we do something. If we like to set a bit, setting a bit means putting one into it. Setting a bit means putting one into it. And clearing. Clearing requires you to use or. So all is used to clear a bit that has been set. All right. So all has been used to clear a bit that has been set. Okay. So when do we need all? Can be like set the bit. When do we need and when we like to check if the bit is set? And when do we need exclusive or when we like to change? Sorry, um, clear a bit. Now, let's say I have got this register set as 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. I like to change this third bit I like to change this third bit to 1 
So what I will use or? How I will use or? That is actually the matter of concern. So I have to make or. So if I want to set a bit, I will put one there and leave everything else zero. So this making of this new value is actually the whole combination of this new value visit in red is called mask. What do we call it? Mask. And we perform our operation over this mask. So in the result, what do we get? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. If you could see the difference between this and this registered values, you could see the bit which is marked is now set to 1. What if I like to clear this one? What if I like to clear this one? This one. And I would like to keep this. What I would do? I will create a new mask that will be used with exclusive or because it says that exclusive or is used to clear a bit. Exclusive or is used to clear a bit. Okay, so let's see. We are going to create a mask. We want to clear this particular bit. Clear means we want to make it zip. So we will put uh, one over here and zero at all different places. So this is a new mask that I have created to make this particular bed clear. Means to put zero in it. Now, see what is the result of these two exclusive for zero, zero, zero. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, if you see the difference between these two, only the bit which was marked here is now 0. Rest of the bits are the same as they were. So, exclusive power is used. Exclusive power is used to clear a bit. Let's see what someone is asked. So what is the purpose of the mask? The purpose of the mask is to create a combination that can be used to clear two bits, set two bits, or to check few bits. So mask is not just for one bit. We may use this mask to set several bits together, to clear several bits together, and to check several bits together. All right, that is how it works. So you would have to create your own mask. So I wanted to set this bit so I created this mask so whatever the bit that I wanted to set as one I put one and rest are now zeros so if I would have put one over here and over here so these three one two and three will have become what one matlab set over similarly if I want to clear and I want to clear let's say one two and three so I will be putting one here one here and one here so whatever the values those are Ones already will become what? Zero. All right. So let's say this particular mask. Is it possible to change multiple bits with the same mask? Yes. वही तो मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कि जो भी आपको set करने हैं वहाँ पे आप ones लगा के और कर दें वो set हो जाएंगे. अच्छा अभी हम उसपे आते हैं. अभी आप थोड़ा सा समझने की कोशिश करें with respect to assembly. So let's say we have got this data in computer's memory. Let's say I have got this data at address 92. I have this save as 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is at address 92. In computer's memory, immediate access store. I have to set this bit as one, and I would like it to be saved 
at address 73. What program will I write in assembly language? First, I would have to load so LDB 92. So this 92 will be loaded to what? Accumulator. Now I will apply my mask to the accumulator. So I'll be like exclusive or this is now an opcode, a command, opcode. I want to set, oh sorry, I want to set, yes, so not exclusive or rather I'll be using R only. Okay, so I will be creating my own mask. So mask is in binary form, so I'll be using B. If you remember, I told you that it's the value that you are going to get, that should be D. And now that value is a value as constant, it is not an address. I'll be using hash D. Now what is your mask? Your mask is I wanted to change this one so 0010000000 as this was in binary form we have to put B and it is value itself it is not in any computer's area so that binary is producing a number 82 not 92 but this is not the value this is the memory address This content. All right, so we have loaded this data at the address 92 in computer's memory, and then we applied the mask to it. Now we have got what the change value with this third bit set as one, and I would like to save this value back to address 93. So I'll be like store at 93 so what do i get at 93 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 so it's a change to that this is what you have to learn that if some data is present at some memory location we want to manipulate that data in a bit or in several bits we would have to load that data from the memory to accumulator we will apply mask to it and proper exclusive power and or or upload to it and then we will store the data back to the memory all right that is how it works so this is it for the lecture today let me revise what we have done today i actually tried explaining that how bitwise operations with ending exclusive for and orange works and then i did try explaining them by writing a computer program in visual basic for it Basically, you are not supposed to create the program in Visual Basic, but you are supposed to do this using assembly language. Then we use few of the examples, and then I told you that we create a mask. So until now, we created the mask for one and only one bit as of yet, but this mask can be created for several bits. Now we will learn how to actually change the data in assembly language. So data is somewhere in the memory. We have to fetch that data load the data in accumulator and then we do the operation with it and afterwards we store the data back to the memory. This was actually the gist of what we have learned today in this lecture.